hello 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 happy saturday to all or whatever day it is you are watching this video <laughs> okay so i did a um haul mm, probably a month ago and where i purchased these um eye patches here <clears throat> let me tell you I, I didn't know what the big hoopla was about this, the woo-hoo and all of that. I put these on when I woke up after I washed my face. <laughs> I feel like I have, you know those little roller balls that people use, but you can put them in the freezer or refrigerator and, and roll. I feel like there's cool, refreshing... Uh, these patches are cool and refreshing. Let me just put it like that. They're so cool. They're so refreshing on my face. They're a nice temperature. I don't wake up with swelling or anything, but I'm going to see if these things really do do something. Uh, I don't know what they're actually... Well, if I woke up with puffy eyes and swelling under, you know that, it probably would take it off. I guess that's what they're created to do. But I don't wake up like that, at least for the most part that I'm aware of. Um, so let's just see if it makes some kind of a change here. We'll see. This is sort of a, this feels really good. It really feels good. If you've never tried it, you didn't understand the hype of it, and you may wake up with little puffiness under your eyes. Now, I can't tell you what it does with puffiness because I don't have puffiness, but if you just want to feel that cool and refreshing when you first wake up and oh so soothing try them i really would have never got them but my cousin she was like oh let me try these patches so i wonder if she tried oh, we were supposed to try our patches together and then told each other about it Ooh, oh girl i'm gonna have to give you a call sorry about that i have to give you a call and see um if you tried yours yet. Oh, yeah. It's too early in the morning. It's 5 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Why am I up at 5 in the morning? Oh, oh, well. See you later. Hello, and I am back. I am in a pretty good mood this morning. I am very grateful for that. But, yeah. About a month ago, I purchased this wig um look at that oh man mm -mm. i have never been a long hair girl i just can't do it it's i don't even mm -mm. it makes for the cutest ponytails i will say but this hair is just too long for my liking I knew that when I purchased it, um, and in the back of my mind, I thought, well, because this was the only one that they had in this color. I didn't like the other colors. So I'm like, hmm, I'll just take it home, and I'll cut it after I add some color to it, all right? Ugh. So, um yeah i'm thinking i want to and i don't know how to cut y'all so i'm gonna go ahead and cut this wig uh, oh jesus please let these scissors be something worth while uh, now the problem is with me cutting it in this direction i just thought i can never cut hair th this side see i think that oh, oh i love it i think it looks better already oh yeah 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 see this is cute i can do this that i cannot do look at that look at the difference Mm. Mm -mm. 
All right now, to get this hair to cut in one in this direction, like I did the other side, is going to be very challenging. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Oh man, I just don't know. I don't wanna mess it up. Um, maybe I can twist it like this. And, oh, we'll see what happens. It's just a wig, I guess, huh? Oh my God. Oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh man, oh. Ooh, that hurts. That really hurts. Um, yeah, I can't. I can't continue that cut like that. I. I gotta. Ooh. Oh Lord. Maybe I can do it now. Um, wait, which way did I do it? Like this. Um, since it's thinner. Jeez. Hurry, 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 Cut, 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 cut. Oh! Woo! That was challenging. Sure was. Woo we. All right. These scissors are not good at all. Not, 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 not. All right, so, yeah, I can do this. That didn't turn out too bad, actually. Um, yeah, I like this a lot better. Not sure if I'll be wearing this today or not, but, um, Let me see, what if I did that with part to the side? Am I a side part or a middle part? Oh, let's see the back. Well, well, I'm gonna go and get ready for my day. Not quite sure what I'm gonna be looking like how I'm gonna do my hair, what I'm gonna wear or anything, but yeah, that was just way too much hair for me. Um, yeah. It's really interesting because I turned that hair on this side, now the curls, they pop up words. And I didn't turn them on this side. So they are sort of uh, under, oh my God, that's not good. Oh well, anyhow, we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. But I might can rock this one now due to the fact the, um, that's, that part is gone. That's, that was just doing way too much. I've already said all that, so talk to y'all later. Okay, good morning, good morning, I am back. So I put this on, but honestly, I don't know if it's it needs to be cut shorter. I don't know what is really going on here. Mm, I don't know. <sighs> but anyhow, I um, was just sitting here as I was getting ready and I was thinking, I haven't put on makeup in like two weeks probably two and a half weeks but you know when God promises you promises you something for those that believe or if you have faith in believing in something because faith really is about us exercising our faith 
of what is inside of us, of what we desire and what we want. And then we have, as Christians, the scriptures to back us up of the promises that God had given us because of who he is in us. And so our spirit connects with his spirit. So that's our connection and increasing our faith and giving glory to God when what he said, what he put inside of us has come to pass. And here's the thing. Some years ago, God showed me something. He spoke to me. He gave me a dream or a vision of something. And um, I don't believe that anything that we are or what we are doing or what was we dreamt about or had a vision of, if it wasn't meant to be, we wouldn't even know about it. It would not even be a thing. It would be non-existent in our spirit, our mind, our thoughts, our emotions, because it is not what we connect with or invite into us. We have to be one, invite certain things with inside of us and then we also are blessed to have dreams and visions for god to reveal something to us and be like oh my god you know i want that i desire that let me fight for that i believe in this so i believe i really believe but there's also vision killers out there dream killers out there that'll try to hinder stop and block you from being or doing what you need to do but those are called hurdles that we have to jump over because no one is going to be able to stop us from receiving our best and what we desire and what we hope dream and believe for our lives and that's the fight that we have to have that good fight of faith and i've been fighting for you know the past four plus years in a certain area with my health which no one understands because it's not your life you don't understand and you never will unless you have the same situation that i had god forbid for real god forbid and um so yeah people have to be very very careful cowards are cowards we have to have holy boldness we have to have boldness we have to have that strength to go forth and to um open up our mouth and speak to share and to do to become to have and everything else a closed mouth <laughs> is silent an open mouth can get things done or bring forth clarity understanding peace so yeah so on today, I got myself, you know, ready, you know, put some makeup on, put my little unit on here. These glasses, I think I, I, I got to get some glasses that sort of blend in. I have some, but I don't know. They might be in a purse or something or somewhere. I don't even know where them things are. I have no clue. But anyhow, um... Yeah, and I think I need a new prescription as well. But I don't know what I'm going to do today. I really would like to make a body butter using mango butter with a light scent, maybe a cherry scent or something. Oh, I did get some new scents. I'll have to smell them and see if I want it to smell like that um, of essential oils. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go do a little bit of research here and then my friend and I we were talking oh my god she is so smart and she's really also been inspiring me like you guys I love my YouTube family I am telling you all of you that that make comments and encourage me I really love you and I want to say this because I was doing a thing where I was encouraging everyone and sharing and showing what you've done but there's one person I did not forget you I did not miss you I just fell into stuck in traffic and didn't get to it so I'm just gonna say it right now there is destiny Irene 8 and if it wasn't for her She's like that kind of person. You are like that kind of person. You know how to bring people together. You are a team builder. 
you are a strength and a rock and people that are like a team builder, a strength and a rock, they also need to have the same thing given back encouragement support and i wish you bless you pray that you and i do pray for you that you will have all the support that you need as you give it back out i really do because you have been such a blessing i feel like you are my friend that i've never met in real person um and i love and adore your spirit your a great mom and you're funny and I really enjoy you so I just wanted to give a shout out to Irene 8 mm -hmm. so in saying that um yeah so I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do oh my friend I was talking with her last night and hi Patty and uh, she lives out of state here and when we first met we could not stand each other i mean literally couldn't stand each other for no reason and we have been friends for over 30 years almost 40 years mm -hmm. i think it's 36 gonna be 36 years yep so uh anyway yeah, she was sharing with me about, I made her some sense and stuff. I want her to test it. I know she's going to be very, very, very um, honest and truthful. Um, but yeah, she was talking about, we were talking about sugar scrubs and salt scrubs, and she really likes salt scrubs. So I already made her a sugar scrub, but I'm going to go ahead and um, make her a salt scrub because that's really what she um, uh gravitates to is the salt scrub and that's the first thing she tried my first thing I tried was sugar scrub so I get it and uh yeah so I am gonna figure some things out and then I will be back with you guys to show you the finished product I'm not gonna do it on camera because I uh, just need to be at peace and have my mind fixed and focused <laughs> then i have to go and do some studying today because i have to take a pretest. and and you know when i take these pretests, it's to find out what i know about the program and um so they can you know work with me and and see where i'm at or you know just for me to even see where i'm at as well so yeah so i gotta really it's i think it's the glossary that i have to study so <sighs> it's like studying a bunch of acronyms of stuff as well and oh my god it's so much oh, ooh, oh mm. but yeah i won't be able to be the best that i can be and know the things i desire to know to learn what i need to learn to accomplish what i need to accomplish if i don't put forth that effort and have faith and believe that I can do it. And thank you for everyone who encouraged me and supports me. I really love you all. Thank you. And I will be back with you shortly. You know what? As I was looking at the video and looking at this hair, I was like, I, I absolutely hate the way this looks. I just didn't like I just didn't like it, so I decided to start cutting like layers or something into it. And like I said, I don't know nothing about cutting hair. I really don't. But I'm going to try to make it look really cute. I'm going to try. And I think this is already better than this right here. I haven't decided if I want to cut this part yet. I don't know yet. I probably will, but. Yeah, so this is what I'm doing with this. And I was sitting like, how do you, how would I cut layers into it? I don't know. And then. Just had this idea this is, this is how you do it i guess oh my arm is tired but it does look to me a lot better than this dead dry looking side over here 
So, yeah. I'm going to keep on cutting until it looks how I would like for it to look and be cute. Because it definitely needs some, some uh, layers. Oops. For sure. Absolutely for sure. Yep, yep, and yep. Okay, let me cut this little piece and then I'm going to get back to you guys. And this piece. <laughs> and this piece. I better be careful now. You know how they call beauticians or, or whatever uh, scissor happy? That's what I think I'm almost doing here. Becoming a little bit scissor happy. But that does look, it does look better. I like that. I like that a lot better. That's cute. All right. I'll show you the finished uh, outcome of this shortly okay this is the finished product yeah might have to curl it because it is curlable because this side this is the side I did wait this is the side I flipped the hair this is the side I did not flip the hair but when it comes to the length I am loving this length here. Now let's see what it looks like from the back. I think it's a lot better than what it was, that's for sure. From the beginning to the middle, this is cute. Um, yeah, this is cute. I just gotta figure out, I, you know, this is a lace front thingy and it, it needs to be glued and I really don't want to have to go through all that because when I want this thing off, I want it off. So, I don't know how that's going to work. I got to figure out something right now. It's, I have it bobby pinned in and it's still a little slippery. Um, but yeah, this is... That's the that's it. I can work with that now. Now I feel better. It looks like it's you know it's it looks like something good happened to it. I think I just gotta curl this this one here or cut it or something because that ain't. I don't know. I don't know, but it's um yeah. This is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. And this needs to be cut. Yeah, it does. It definitely does. Yeah. There might be some more that needs to be cut in here. That ain't layering in right or blending in right or whatever the term is for it. Uh oh. See, and I don't want to keep doing too much cutting because then it's going to look a mess and I can't fix it. All right, I am just going to call it a day. Woo! 
what do y'all think? Y'all seen the video. You seen the before. You seen the. All right, what's happening right here? Nothing. Let's say nothing is happening right there. Everything is good. So you guys seen the before when I first put it on and it was way long. Then I had it where it was like just cut straight. And then this is this. What do you think? think it's okay I think I did a okay job I hope so I mean I'm the one that's wearing it I gotta like it but I would like you guys' opinion as well so yeah this is um okay why well, I'm just gonna curl it remember just curl it just curl it just curl it yeah something like that ah! hold up <laughs> I'm not cutting no more because I know I'm gonna it's gonna be jacked if I keep on so I'm just gonna appreciate this here and be done with it <laughs> that's that okay London Ren is gonna go walk in the water with the duckies no 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 Why? you might die what if I walk down in here, I might? Yeah. Oh, I don't they're gonna, they're gonna come fast and then they're gonna eat you. Oh, they will? Yes. But they're swimming away. No, do not. What? What? Make a duck sound. They haven't come back. What? 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 If they come around, they're coming for you. Aww. What do you think of them? If they have, if they're alone, mm -hmm. that means they're waiting. They're gonna call their friends inside the. They're gonna be like quack quack, and then and then they call their, and then they um call their friends, and then now, they say, ooh, I have some food. Let me eat that human. Oh, no, 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 no. oh they're gonna eat a human? Yes. You think? I don't. <gasps> Another one. That's that's a boy duck. See how colorful his head is? Look how green he is. Oh that's their son. That's their son? Yeah, that's their son. What the? They're about to eat that. They're about to eat their food. Oh, fish, that's fish. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Eat, eat. Oh, they didn't eat. Oh, I know what that is. What? That's the little flower. They're about to get married. Really? Uh-huh. They're going to have a wedding ceremony and we get to watch? Wow. Wow, they're gonna get married. This is how they get married. They just do this. Why Look. they keep sticking their head in the water? What's down there? Um, they think there's they think there's fish in there. What the heck? Where's the brother one? Oh, right there. Yep, yep. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, whatever time you are watching this vlog. Welcome to my channel. I am so blessed. And today, I like to start Sunday. Today is Sunday. Today is the first day of the week, which is the best day of the week. That's what I like to say. And it prepares us to be successful for a better rest of the week. So what I am doing today, I just have a short little encouraging word for you guys on today and i turn this a little bit would like to um say this have you been in a little slump in the past few weeks and maybe you haven't so if you haven't it's okay but just in case you get in a slump pay attention to this message but if you have i have been noticing it you know um I don't know, it's like something is happening in the atmosphere and we're sort of pushing and pressing in preparation for what is near, what is to come, like the shifting in the atmosphere. I believe that there is a shifting in the atmosphere and this shifting is something that is so good and it is so powerful and it is so unique, designed for each and every one of us because we are all different and created in the beautiful image of God. And I believe that 
There is, are things that we are desiring, things that we have been putting on hold, things we've been struggling with, trying to wait for the right time and the right season to do certain things. Mm. Well, if you're feeling it and you're feeling that shift take place, set yourself up straight and start pushing forward for that new shift in your life that fresh start new beginning new ideas starting that business going to school becoming a, a a a new wife new husband having a family purchasing your house whatever it is starting a new job even you know what all of these things and so 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 much more are available to us but at all, we have to pay attention to the mind. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So we have to be very careful of our thoughts. And I always say this, God gave me this years ago. Our emotions have a voice. Our good emotions have a good voice, but them not so good emotions, them negative ones, them angry ones, oh, them things can be damaging, destructive, and deadly. Uh, uh, we have to get rid of them kind of thoughts, bind them things up and cast them into the fire, send them back down to the pits of hell where they belong. So we are in a new era. We are in a new season. And in this new season, we're moving... We're, we, we moved into um, spring. We still have some, you know, a little more spring to co go until we move and shift into summer. So today, it's a good time to really begin to process and think and, and begin to ponder, what is it that I need to be doing? I am getting what she's saying. I am feeling this thing. And begin to start, start doing a new you for a new day and time and season for such as this. You know, the Bible says in Psalms 37 and verse four, if we delight ourselves in him, he'll grant us the desires of our heart. So this is a time to delight yourself in the Lord and watch him grant you the desires of your heart. Trust in the Lord. Trust in him. Put your trust in God. Not in our ways, but let the spirit lead and guide you. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways. Acknowledge him and he shall direct our path to a, where it's been going like this <laughs> and diving down. But now it's time to rise up to the mountain. Ah, ah hallelujah. Psalms uh, 3 and 5 and 6. Excuse me. Um, But in saying that, you know, we also have to have faith. Faith is what moves God. For those that believe, We there is a faith that is, God has given us a measure of faith. I believe this is a time and season to increase our faith increase our faith and push forward you know yes there has been some hindrances some stumbling blocks and there have even been some vision killers beware of the vision killers beware of the people the naysayers beware of the people that are trying to be a hindrance and a stumbling block because god has a blessing with your name on it god's got a blessing with your name on it with my name on it, with our name on it. Yes, he does. And we are going to retrieve them blessings and we're going to give him praise. So I am just here to encourage you to don't fret, don't worry, be encouraged. Don't look at your neighbor and what they're doing and how things are going in their life. Don't look to the left, don't look to the right, don't even look behind. Let's look forward and to trust God, delight ourselves in him and watch what he does. Because God says, behold, I am the Lord God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Absolutely not, Lord. Mm -mm. And with God, all things are possible. Oh, catch it. With God, not apart from him, but with God, mm. all things are possible.
So let's unite ourselves, connect ourselves to our hopes, dreams, and visions, and be led by his beautiful Holy Spirit. Give God thanks, praise, glory, and honor. And we honor you, Jesus, for being our Lord and Savior. Lord, hear our prayers, and we thank you for answering our prayers. We thank you for this new shift of this new season where it has been so dark and cloudy here where I live, it seems like for two weeks. But now the sun is shining. It is so bright. And that is what you're doing. It's like we're walking into a new season of bright sunshine. So I thank you for your blessings. For the blessing of the Lord, he maketh rich. He adds no sorrow with it. Be encouraged. And you know, there's going to always be someone that's going to talk about us, try to discourage us. It's just, They're just vessels that are being used by the enemy. Do not allow them, people, to discourage you, depress you, bring you down, tear you down, and make you lose your focus because that's the intended plan of the enemy, to use whomever he can. So rise up, connect your hand with Jesus, and let the Holy Spirit lead and guide you as I am allowing him to lead and guide me so that we can come out, come forth, rise up, break through with an amazing testimony. Mm -hmm. So peace and love to you all. You have a very blessed first day of the week as you prepare for the rest of your week. And I hope that this little message, encouraging word, encouraged you. And I'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you for watching. Let's all have a hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless kind of week. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Blessings.